Hello students, welcome to our channel Learning Notebook. In today's video, we will learn how to subtract 5 digit numbers without borrowing and with borrowing. So let's start and first do subtraction of 5 digit numbers without borrowing. Question is, subtract 34,121 from 67,438. To subtract these 5 digit numbers, first let's write them in columns as shown here. Now, let's start subtracting them from 1's place. 8 minus 1 equals to 7. Next, Subtract the digits at tens place. 3 minus 2 equals to 1. Next, let's subtract the digits at hundreds place. 4 minus 1 equals to 3. Now, let's move and subtract the digits at thousands place. 7 minus 4 equals to 3. In the end, subtract the digits at 10 thousands place. 6 minus 3 equals to 3. So our answer is 33,317. So students, this is how we do subtraction of 5 digit numbers without borrowing. Now let's learn how to do subtraction of 5 digit numbers with borrowing. Question is, subtract 2481 from 51796. Again, to subtract these numbers, first we will write them in columns as shown here. Now we will start subtracting from 1's place. 6 minus 1 equals to 5. Then subtract the digits at tens place. 9 minus 8 equals to 1. Next, subtract the digits at hundreds place. 7 minus 4 equals to 3. Now let's move to thousands place. But students, 2 cannot be subtracted from 1. So, so we will borrow from 5. Therefore, 5 becomes 4 and 1 becomes 11. Now, we can easily subtract 2 from 11 which is 9. Now, let's put the digit at 10 thousands place which is 4. So our answer is 49,315. So this is how we do subtraction with borrowing. Students, we have got a separate video on complete chapter of subtraction. I am sure this video will resolve all your doubts related to subtraction. The link to this video is here on the top and in the description box. Now let's do next question. Subtract 45,749 from 81,327. To subtract these 5 digit numbers, let's write them in columns. Now subtract the digits at 1's place. But students, 9 cannot be subtracted from 7. So, we will borrow from 10's place. 2 becomes 1 and 7 becomes 17. Now, 17 minus 9 equals to 8. Let's move to 10's place now. But again, 4 cannot be subtracted from 1. So this time we will borrow 1 from 100's place which is 3. So 3 becomes 
2 and 1 becomes 11. 11 minus 4 equals to 7. Let's move to 100's place. 7 cannot be subtracted from 2. So let's borrow 1 from 1000's place. Therefore, 1 becomes 0 and 2 becomes 12. And 12 minus 7 equals to 5. Now let's subtract the digits at 1000's place. But again, 5 cannot be subtracted from 0. So let's borrow 1 from 10,000's place. Therefore, 8 becomes 7 and 0 becomes 10. 10 minus 5 equals to 5. Now let's subtract the digits at 10,000's place. 7 minus 4 equals to 3. So, we have got the answer as 35,578. Now, let's do one more question. Subtract 26,481 from 90,000. First, write these five digit numbers in columns. Now let's start subtracting from 1's place. But 1 cannot be subtracted from 0. So let's borrow from 10's place. But again 10's place is 0. So it cannot help. So let's borrow from 100's place. But this is also 0. In the same way, digit at thousands place is also zero. Finally, students, we have nine at ten thousands place. So let's borrow from nine. Therefore, nine becomes eight, and we keep on borrowing. And finally, 0 at 1's place becomes 10. Now, let's subtract 10 minus 1 equals to 9. Subtract the digits at 10's place. 9 minus 8 equals to 1. Move to 100's place. 9 minus 4 equals to 5. Then subtract the digits at thousands place. 9 minus 6 equals to 3. And in the end, let's subtract the digits at ten thousands place. 8 minus 2 equals to 6. So we have got the answer as 63,519. So now students, I am sure you must have understood how to do subtraction of 5 digit numbers with and without borrowing. We have lot of interesting worksheets and quizzes on our channel Learning Notebook. So do visit our channel. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.